the size of a few CD jewel cases with only a letter at the front and a set of buttons at the rear and of course the audio connections. The solo is as minimalistic as it gets, but don't be mistaken, it could just as well be named a jewel case for it holds a technological gem, elegance in its simplest form. A network bridge is a device that can receive an audio stream from a computer, tablet or smartphone and output either analog or digital audio. There is no player software in the bridge, it depends on the software on the computer, tablet or smartphone. The Solo is such a device. Let's have a look at how it is to be used. The Solo is connected over a pair of RCA cables to an amp that drives a set of speakers or, if your amp has a digital input, over either a 75 ohm RCA cable or a Toslink optical cable. It has to be connected to your network over Wi-Fi to connect to your computer, tablet or smartphone. Several protocols can be used for streaming audio, DNLA, Airplay 2, Bluetooth and Room. It's funny that the specifications don't mention the DNA protocol while it is perfect for using bit perfect music players like Audiovana and J River Media Center. Connecting to your Wi Fi network is done using either Airplay 2 or the Google Home app. After that is done, Rune and DNA apps see the solo as an endpoint or renderer immediately. The solo is housed in a sturdy plastic box with a metal bottom. It measures 147 by 147 by 37 mm and weighs slightly over half a kilo. On the front there is only an LED that indicates the status. Orange when starting up, blinking white for setup, blinking blue for Bluetooth pairing and solid white for now playing. The solo switches to standby when no music is played for 5 minutes. On the rear we see a mini USB to connect the supplied 5 volt USB Woolworth power supply to. Left of it the SPDIF and the Toslink digital outputs and the left and right analog outputs on RCA. The setup button is for Bluetooth pairing but when pressed for 5 seconds it resets the solo to factory settings. On the inside we find a single circuit board that holds all electronics. The 5 volt power supply is led to the other side of the board where voltage regulation takes place. The Wi-Fi and Bluetooth radios are on a dedicated module that rides piggyback on the main board. From there the signal goes to the NXP ARM Cortex M33 processor and the output is sent to the Sirius Logic digital audio transmitter that drives the digital outputs. The signal is also sent to the ES9018K2M stereo DAC chip and from there to a pair of OP1662 op amps that turn the balanced outputs of the DAC to single ended. A third OP1662 op amp forms the output stage. Argos has chosen to limit the player to PCM at a maximum of 192 kHz sampling. That would probably cover 95% of the market or more and keeps it affordable. The DAC chip is capable of 384 kHz PCM and DSD, but the other components like the digital audio transmitter are not suited for sampling rates over 192 kHz. And you better offer 192 kHz done good than 384 kHz done poorly. And let's be honest, how much music do you have at higher sampling rates or DSD? Never ever did I get a streamer online and working this fast and this simple. I'm an Apple user so I show you the method using AirPlay. Simply connect the Solo to your amp and its power supply. Then wait for the LED on the front to turn from orange to slowly blinking white. Go to the Wi-Fi section on the setup on your iPad or iPhone, scroll to the bottom and wait for Setup New AirPlay Speaker. Click on the name the Argon Solo reports itself with and, if you like, change the speaker name and that's about it. Non-Apple users can use Google's Home app and install it like you would a Chromecast device. It's a few clicks more 
but no more complex. Bluetooth is even simpler. Press the setup button on the rear shortly and in the Bluetooth setup of your phone or tablet select the solo. You can have both the AirPlay or Chromecast and the Bluetooth connection on your phone. The solo switches automatically to the input you send the music to. As soon as you have connected using either AirPlay or Google Home, the solo is also available to Rune and DNA apps. In Rune it is seen as Rune Ready device, while for instance in Odevana it becomes available as a network output. I started out listening to the solo using my setup 3. The 450 Euro NAD C316BE amplifier drives the 400 Euro a pair modern short Avant 902 speakers over Kimber 2PR loudspeaker cable. The modern shorts are assisted by the 700 Euro REL T5 subwoofer connected to the amp's speaker terminals using the standard REL cable. The solo was connected to the amp using old Siltec London cables. The network connection was made to the TP-Link Deco 5 mesh network of Wi-Fi. This sounded very good, slightly better than the LOUS bridge with an AudioQuest Dragon Cobalt that normally functions in my setup 3. There was a fairly good stereo image, resolution was rather good for its price and sibilance was only slightly accentuated, which is very good in this class. That made me curious how well it would perform in a more expensive setup. So I hooked it up to my setup 2. Here the amp is the 1300 Euro Marantz KI Lite that drives the 1000 Euros a pair Acoustic Energy Radiance 1 loudspeakers over Kimber 4 pr cable. Again these speakers are supported by the Well T5 subwoofer connected over the standard cable to the loudspeaker terminals of the Marantz. The solo was connected to the amp over the same low budget Siltec London interlinks that, by the way, are no longer available. Despite this setup is clearly a class higher than a setup 3, the solo was rather convincing. The sound opened up further, it was more involving and more musical. A real surprise. I would rate this sound wise at a quarter up in my setup 2. Not something I expected given the price. But wait, there is more. The fun of devices that perform well is that they form a nice base for upgrading. Take for instance the power supply. When it was replaced with an S-Booster 5 volt, the sound cleaned up further, bringing up the rating from 25% in my setup 2 to 35%. The sound became a bit more relaxed, more natural. Then I connected the solo to the Denaflips Aries 2 DAC that normally does the D2A conversion in setup 2 and got a rating of bottom setup 1 when used with a high class digital source. Using the solo combined to the Aries 2 scored 80% up in my setup 2. This simple and very affordable network player surprised me. Simple not only because it is simple to set up and to operate in large numbers of settings, but also since internally it's very simple. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth radios connected to a simple ARM processor that sends the audio to both the digital outputs and the DAC chip. That keeps the cost low and apparently the audio quality relatively high. Therefore it is very attractive for people that can't free up a lot of cash at once. Just start with the solo and when more money comes available upgrade the power supply. And then if you still want more just buy a higher class DAC. You can start up with a free DNLA server on your computer or with a music app on your smartphone or tablet and later upgrade to a bit perfect software player that is capable of higher sampling rates like Orivana or J River Media Center using the DNLA protocol. Or even step over to Rune. And if the youth wants to play their music, they can use Bluetooth for their MP3s. And that all for, wait for it, 250 euros, including VAT. Bad news for non-EU citizens, for Argon products are only shipped within the European Union. Which brings us to the end of this video. 
As usual, there will be a new video next Friday at 5 pm Central European time. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you will be informed when new videos are out. Help me reach even more people by giving this video a thumb up or link to this video in the social media. It is much appreciated. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and lets me improve the channel further. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, the links are in the comments below this video in YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.